there's going to be a lot of collaboration within the project, so we're going to be helping each other out with post uh, production and post production specialists. There's so all three of us. Uh, to give a brief introduction to our project, we are doing a short video for the purpose of raising awareness of organ donation. Uh, the short video will include visual effects, uh, which will add a stronger impact to our scenes and uh, help communicate the significance of the message. The key effect we want to produce in, this, uh, in the scenes is overlaying graphics of organs, uh, both diseased and healthy, uh, between two people, uh, a patient and a relative, and we're trying to symbolise the sharing of, after, of these organs after life, of giving um, uh, one's uh, organs after they've passed on. We have a bit of research into current um, organisation videos and we've seen from them that they try to create an emotional impact from its audiences and we try to uh, get them thinking about their mortality and what, what, what they can do with their organs if they wish after their death and how it can save lives. Um, I've mapped out the, well we've mapped out the, the project um, milestones that we've set but we've got a given amount of time for each stage and we've, we've given it enough uh, room for manoeuvre over the 12 weeks just in case anything happens that we can't get a specific date for recording in uh, one of the rooms or if we can't, uh, if we have a little bit of trouble with some other techniques. I'll just pass you to Jamie. I'm Jamie and I'm in charge of the production stage of the project which involves uh, sort of establishing camera shots, uh, the location scouting, storyboards, and any equipment we'll need. So uh, the first, there are two main scenes to our project. The first one is the hospital, and that will be filmed at Western General Hospital. Of course, if we can't acquire permissions uh, to film outside of the hospital, uh, we can recreate it using a clinic or a dentist. And then using camera tracking, we can uh, imprint the logo and name on the side of the building to convince everyone that it is a hospital. Uh, the second scene is the ward room, and that will be filmed at Napier Campus, using one of the spare rooms available on the seafloor. Uh, this is the main focal point where most of the action uh, transpires. And uh, each camera shot in the second scene will be one continue, continuous uh, shot with the panning of the camera. So in more detail of the camera shot, the first uh, opening scene uh, is number one, and that zooms from the heart monitor in the patient's bedroom. And... Uh, you can hear the bleeping of the heart monitor, which signifies that the patient is alive at this stage. Uh, the second camera shot has a view of the entire room and uh, the bedbound patient alongside uh, a grieving relative who is sobbing in the background. And uh, digitally mapped onto the patient's chest on the bed, there will be the organs uh, which are healthy. And it will then pan around to a clipboard at the foot of the bed, which will uh, have a clipboard detailing uh, the patient's critical condition and his illnesses and why he's dying. And then the final shot of that scene will uh, be the relative and the relative's diseased organs. And so at this point, the heart monitor dies and his organs change from healthy to, uh, from disease to healthy ones, signifying that the dying patient has donated his organs and saved a life for his friend. Uh, in terms of equipment, we're going to need medical apparatus. Uh, for the hospital ward just to uh, improve the believability, so that can include uh, stethoscopes, breathing masks, uh, of course the clipboard, and we'll also need a heart monitor which we can make from an old BC monitor. In terms of camera equipment, we have two 550Ds, which uh, is obviously a very good camera, and uh, also a tripod which will be used for the panning scene. In terms of costume and clothing for the actors, we'll uh, need a patient and relatives uh, white overalls. In terms of audio, we'll need music for the opening scene, and that will be very surreal and eerie, and it'll be depicting so an ambient, troubled scene, which uh, is common in many health adverts of a dark nature. And the considerations will also need to be aware that this is a positive uh, campaign, spreading a positive message that you can save a life by donating your organs. Uh, so we're going to try and keep it, stay away from being too dark and too sinister. And we'll also need to use uh, uncopyrighted music in our production. I'll hand you over now to Jonathan. Uh, I'm Jonathan. I'll be in charge of the post-production aspects of the project. Like we said before, that doesn't mean I'll be doing all the post-production work. It just means I'll be in charge of dividing up tasks and responsibilities uh, overseeing that part. So the main inspiration for the effect that we've used 
is this you've done this music video is a shot of a herd of deer and um, a shot of one stag had the, the joints of meat as graphics overlaid onto the stag's body and then a little annotation giving more detail off to the side. Uh, the, the graphics are slightly transparent and uh, track with the, the camera and the stag so they stay in the same place at the same time so it gives you the idea that you're sort of almost x-ray vision, you're looking at, uh, you're looking almost inside the body. In the music video that scene was very fast, only lasted a second or two. Uh, in our project we're going to make it last slightly longer, uh, especially so we can get more detail from the, the annotations. So the two things we'll need to have for that will be the, the actual graphics um, of the organs uh, and then patient information which will be in the sort of annotated text. <coughs> the side. Um, these will both be motion tracked to the patient so that they will follow the patient as the, the camera pans around the scene. Patient information will include things like their name, their age, and more specifically their life expectancy and what illness they're suffering from. Um, as Jamie said, throughout the scene uh, there's a heart monitor beeping in the background towards the end heart monitor will, will die, it will continue to beep, and as that happens, not only will the diseased organs change to healthy organs, but also the life expectancy and what illness they have will update, sort of reflecting, you know, okay, by donating these organs, this person has gained so much more life. The main tools we're using for this will be After Effects, primarily because uh, the motion tracker is quite powerful. Uh, be able to match the, the graphics to the patient's body. Then also colour grading. Um, we're well aware this is a, a serious issue, it's a, a sensitive issue of life and death. So we want to make sure that uh, the video looks as if we are taking it seriously. Uh, we're not making light of it. Uh, so we use colour grading to make it look slightly more darker, some more sombre. Two minutes. Um, so sound effects we use. <coughs> have the general background noise of a hostel, again, just to sort of set the scene and uh, give the impression that you are in a busy hospital ward, although you never see, you should never see that, you only ever see the ward room. It'll also be the heart monitor, as we said, so it'll start off quite prominent, uh, it'll fade away for the majority of the video and then come back into focus um, for the final scene where it dies out. We'll also have a, an audio cue for when the graphics of the organs appear, again just to sort of attract the viewer's attention um, to keep them focused on, on what's happening. This is going to be a short advert, so we need to make sure we're focused for the entire duration. So in conclusion, we're well aware this is a sensitive issue um, for, for many people, so we need to make sure we are handling it with care. Um, we're also trying to make sure we convey a positive message through it which is why we're choosing to end it on the scene of the relative who's just gained this sort of new life, new leash on life, rather than end it on the, the death of the patient we're focusing on, the new life it can bring. The way we've structured the project, we're choosing to uh, focus as if we've been contacted by a client who's then asked us to produce this. Again, this is just to sort of make sure we treat it seriously. We're not just making this for our own entertainment, we're not just doing it for fun. Treating it seriously. Uh, thank you. Okay. Well,